So, Bob, uh, I want to ask you the question that was asked this morning on First Up. Uh, the poll question was, uh, has Austin Matthews lived up to your expectations this year? 42% said yes, 58% said no. What say you? Well, I think it's a pretty high bar, and he. I, I just think there, there needs to be more consistency to his game. I think he has games where he's dominant, and you look at him and you go, wow. And then I think there are games where... Um, maybe the Leafs aren't doing very much or Austin Matthews isn't doing very much and you're like, ooh, I, I haven't noticed Austin Matthews at all in this game. And and if you do notice him, sometimes it might be, you know, on the ice for a shift where they were hemmed in their own end or getting a minus on a goal, although he's not the only guy in the team that happens to. Um, and I think in some ways that kind of is the, um, in some respects, kind of, represents the, the way you feel about the Leafs at times. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're a good team. They're, at times, they're a great team. And, 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 and Matthews is, is a great player. But there's, there seems to be just you, you want more consistency from him. You want more consistency from the Leafs, even though their record on balance and Matthews numbers are all very, very good. It's just about trying to even things out at the, at the higher end. Well, dovetailing off of that, Bob, uh, our Leafs lunch uh Twitter poll at Leafs Lunch 1050 uh, has been today, uh, who has the most pressure on them to perform in the first round of the playoffs? And the choices are uh, Mike Babcock, Austin Matthews, Freddie Anderson, or John Tavares. I mean, how do you see that one, Bob? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I suppose, because Matthews is going to be the highest paid Leaf, there'll be a lot of people who gravitate towards that one. But there's going to be a lot of people who gravitate towards Mike Babcock because it's been a while since he he uh, he won in the playoffs and and he's you know the highest paid coach and he's been a high profile guy and 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 nobody's expectation. I mean, two years ago when the Leafs made the playoffs, it was like oh great the Leafs made the playoffs mm-hmm. and it yep. was all sort of found money against Washington and they gave a representative effort and everybody was kind of like, it was oh, an honorable man. loss, right? Uh, an honorable loss and something to build on and that's going to be good and then and then last year against the Bruins it it was almost an outright disaster when they were down 3-1 and the fact they got it back to game seven was really good but then all the good feelings got washed away in game seven and you could you could start to sense the the worms turning a little for Mm -hmm. Leaf fans who are who are like you know what okay all right I'll give you that one fine Bruins are a good team at least you got it back to game seven so that they again there was some face saving in the manner in which they were able to come back although nobody liked the way they played in game 7 and and for that reason the pressure's on Freddie because he wasn't very good in that game and obviously Jake Gardner had the minus 5 and what have you but i, I think now the you know the expectations are legitimately higher and and i think the two highest profile people on the team are going to be Mike Babcock and Austin Matthews, and and that I, and I I try not to relate everything to money, but I think fans and media do. And when you're the highest paid coach in the game, and you have the profile of Mike Babcock, and when you're going to be the highest paid Leaf when your new contract kicks in, um, those are the two guys that are probably going to be in the spotlight more than anybody else.